Hello viewers, today we are going to look at different kinds of RAM in a computer system and their sizes. Also, talks about why is RAM important in your computer. Let's dig in. Okay, first we have to know what is a RAM. A RAM is a random access memory. It's a part of computer that stores data temporary when a computer is turned on. There are many information you can get online about RAM but basically we are giving some tips you need to know about RAM and their identification. We have two kinds of RAM, a static RAM number one, a dynamic RAM. A static RAM first. A static RAM uses a large circuitry or a flip-flop circuit to store data in each bit. It retains data bits in its memory as long as power is being supplied. Okay? They are more expensive than dynamic RAM. It has circuits that requires six transistors, four to store the bits and two to control access to the cell. Because all these transistors, static RAM chip has much lower capacity than that of a dynamic chip. Let's know what is dynamic RAM. This is a, this is a RAM random access memory that stores each bit of a data in memory cell, usually consisting of a tiny capacitor and a transistor. Most of the dynamic RAM are designed to use capacitor and transistor to store data. In the designs where a capacitor is used, the capacitor can neither be charged or discharged. These two states are taken to represent the two values of a bit, conventionally called 0 and 1, or in a binary language the computer understands. Let's talk about what is the difference between static RAM and dynamic RAM. We have here a static RAM, it's just like a chip, and then we have a, a laptop PC dynamic RAM with different sizes. Okay, then we have here the desktop RAM, the PC2 and DDR1. The difference is in the terms of expensives, static RAM is very expensive than a dynamic RAM. It's less expensive. In terms of refreshing your PC, you don't need to refresh your PC in a static RAM. Why in a dynamic RAM you must refresh your PC? Accessibility is very fast in delivering data. Okay, then a dynamic RAM can deliver data, but not as fast as a static RAM. Power consumption, lesser power consumption in a static RAM consumes more power than. Usually, static RAM is used as cache memory, and also dynamic RAM is used as main memory. Capacity size, low capacity size in a static RAM. In dynamic, a high capacity to store much data. Transistor needed. There's much transistor to store data in a bit in a static RAM. There's less transistor to store data. Our main focus is on dynamic RAM. We are going to know the types and abbreviations and also their meaning. In a dynamic RAM, we have different kinds of RAM which are synchronous dynamic RAM. It's also known as SD RAM. It is a dynamic RAM where its operation at the internal interface is synchronized by an external clock signal. The SD RAM, which is also a synchronous dynamic RAM concept, was also used in some early Intel processors, but mostly used in RAM. That basically was normally used. In processors, but 
later converted to a RAM. The sizes are 128 megabytes and 512 megabytes. Let's look at the examples. Here we have SD RAM which has a 2U cut, which you can see on the screen. It has a 2U cut. We have a 128 megabyte of it. The most times we find RAM that are different in sizes and shapes. So we're going to talk about single data rate, which is also known as SD RAM, S SD arrow, SD RAM. Okay. Uh, SD arrow, which is single data rate, synchronous dynamic RAM, is a kind of RAM that reads data in single clock cycle. It reads one signal per clock cycle. It is one of the basic RAM that was introduced first before others. As I mentioned earlier about synchronous dynamic RAM, it is a part of synchronous dynamic RAM. Which I mean, what I mean here is that a single data rate is one of the parts like it's an example of a synchronous dynamic RAM. And we have to look at error correction code, which is also known as ECC dynamic RAM. It is a type of RAM that stores data temporarily and have ability to correct memory errors. It has nine chipsets that other RAMs non-error correction code don't have. The reason for the extra chipset is to detect errors and automatic check of data loss, thus fights corruption of data loss. Note that it is faster than other RAM, but, but because of its ability of detecting errors makes it unique. Let's look at the examples. You can see from the diagram below, you want to count a non-error correction code RAM. This, each chip is always 8, while an error correction code RAM chip is always 9. That 9 chip, which we mentioned earlier, helps to detect error and to correct some, correct some errors. Now we look at DD Arrow One, a double data rate RAM. It's also known as a not as a PC One. The full meaning of a DD Arrow is double data rate. It is a RAM which stores data temporarily and reads data in double clock cycle. It has one U card shown in the diagram, which I'm going to show you below and eight chipsets at each on each side. It is more faster and performs tasks better than synchronous dynamic RAM. Their sizes are 256 megabytes, 512 megabytes, and one gigabyte. See from the diagram, it has one u cut each, each chipset has always big as this. And this RAM is a 512 RAM. So we proceed to the next one. And this is for the laptop. This is for desktop. And this is for laptop. So this is a 1 gig. Proceed to the DDR2 RAM. It's also known as a PC2. It has a short chipset and U cut shown below at the image. There are 8 chipsets if it is a non-ECC RAM, but 9 chipset when it is ECC RAM. They perform tasks faster, efficient than DDR1. It is used mostly from second generation computers. Their sizes are 112 megabyte, 1 gigabyte, 2 gigabyte. For example, which we can see here, we have a desktop RAM which is on the top. We have a desktop RAM which is on the top. Let's go back. A one gigabyte. Then we have the laptop RAM. We have two gig. We have one gig here. 
and the 152 megabyte DDR3 double data rate RAM. This is a dynamic RAM that has a short chip set, and its place of U cut is different from it. DDR2. It is the third generation of a computer memory, which is known, which is the RAM. It has its chipset, or some usually have 16 chipsets in total. They are faster in operation than DDR1, DDR2. They consume lesser power and fast in storing data. Their sizes are 1 gigabyte, 2 gigabyte, 4 gigabyte, and 8 gigabyte. Which you can see here. These are the sizes. We have 2 gig here, 2 gig in the desktop, and 4 gig RAM. Move to DDR4. DDR4 is a double data rate RAM 4. Most of these RAMs are differentiated by their physical appearances. The image below is a DDR4 slash P4 PC4 dynamic RAM. It has short circuits and an 8 chipset with a U cut between the pins or terminal contact. Very fast than DDR3 RAM. This is the fourth generation of a computer memory. It is one of the trained RAM in the market. It performs operations more better than other RAM except DDR5. The assets are 2 gigabyte, gigabyte, 4 gigabyte, 8 gigabyte, and 16 gigabyte. We have a 16 gig DDR4 year. Also have a 4 gig DDR4. DDR4 double data rate RAM. Most of this RAM are differentiated by their physical appearances. The image below, which I'm going to show you after this slide, is a DDR4 or PC4 dynamic RAM. It has a short chipset and a 8 chipset with a U cut between the pins or terminal cut. Very fast than DDR3 RAM. This is the fourth generation of a computer memory. It is one of the trained RAM in the market. It performs operations more better than other RAM except DDR5. Their sizes are 2 GB, 4 GB, 8 GB, and 16 GB. So we move to DDR5. First, we have to look at the examples which we are seeing here. We have a 16 gig DDR4 for laptop. We have a, a DDR4 RAM. The size is not noted here, because this is how it is. The picture, this is how it is. So we move to DDR5. This is the latest RAM and is not easily to come by. It has small chipset and a U cost that looks equal between their things. This is current, which is also known as the fifth generation of computer memory. It is more faster and better than other RAMs. Newly made computers come with this RAM. The sizes are 4 GB, 8 GB, 16 GB, and 32 GB. They are very fast. So we are done talking about the types of RAM. Let's look at let's look at the examples. These are examples of DDR5 RAM. It has a U-cut, one U-cut, and if you can look carefully, the U-cut looks very equal, but they are not equal. They are not equal, but it looks so equal. Long one is for the desktop, the short one is for the laptops. Okay, we are done here, knowing the types of RAMs. Let's dig in to know why RAM is important to our system. So why is RAM important in your computer? So we are done here. Why is RAM important in your computer? RAM is one of the most important parts in your computer. Without the RAM, your computer cannot boot or display on the screen. If you want to try, take off your RAM. You see, but there are computers that have an inbuilt RAM. 
that can be possible at some point. RAM, as we know, it is a part of computer that helps stores that are temporary. You can easily know when your computer has fault with RAM, when it refuses to display on the screen. The point here is that RAM stores all your information, which stores on your screen and restores it back to the storage devices when your PC is turned off. I believe more generations are coming soon, such as DDR6, DDR7, DDR8. We'll keep you posted as soon as we hit the latest. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.